We already seen some advancement in CO2 sequestration with deep learning that achieved more than 250 times faster prediction than the traditional razor simulation. Today I would like to discuss with you how to monitor CO2 sequestration with time-lapse methodology. Did you know that the growth of CO2 plumes that we inject in subsurface can be calculated by time lapsing of numerous seismic surveys. Unfortunately, simple subtraction of different vintages data can cause undesirable artifacts caused by noise or acquisition variances, which can potentially contaminate very subtle variations caused by changes in CO2 concentration. Let's break down what we need to accurately simulate the process. Having different vintages data, we need to find a way how to invert permeability map then having that map, we need to find a way to predict CO2 concentration changes at particular time-lapse time. Such process requires inclusion in both fluid flow and wave physics. Traditional methods, as a surprise, requires us to compute PDEs. And solving those PDEs is computationally expensive. And these researchers proposed an improvement to traditional way with machine learning. And they called their development Learn Couple Inversion Framework that is based on wave modeling operator, rock property conversion, and proxy fluid flow simulator to significantly reduce computing cost. In a nutshell, they constructed 1000 synthetic probability maps and using traditional fluid flow solver, they simulated propagation of CO2 plumes, where CO2 injection was on the left and producing brine is on the right side of the map. Then they train a neural network, which in this case Fourier neural operator as a proxy for fluid flow simulator, which resulted in a quarter of computing costs than traditional solver. Though not many information about how to train the proxy simulator, you can check out this video on the channel that breaks down how it can be done. After having CO2 concentration maps, then they are converted into wave speed field using rock physics. Finally, using wave physics, they compute the seismic response as cross well seismic surveys. Everything appears to be fine, but keep in mind this is a synthetic dataset. And during testing, they extract an unseen permeability sample and use numerical solvers to obtain 11 early snapshots of CO2 concentration at every 40th day. Then they use their learn couple inversion framework to invert for permeability using time-lapse seismic data. And here are results of estimation. Very close, right? Then they show that this not perfect estimate is already surprisingly accurate in recovering the structure of CO2 plumes and forecasting its future dynamics. And here you can see the future time steps following injection. To summarize their paper in a few sentences, they use synthetic experiments to show the effectiveness of this ML alternative to fully coupled fluid flow simulator with wave physics. They achieved a good enough match between a recovery covered and true permeability map. The framework is then extended to CO2 sequestration forecasting, where they use Fourier neural network operator to simulate the propagation of CO2 plumes at nearly zero extra cost. I really like reading these kind of papers. If you are the author or you know an interesting and credible ML paper in oil and gas, then reach out to me. I have very good video for you where I review the paper that talks about unsupervised machine learning applied to seismic interpretation. See you at the next one.